Ecological damage was talked about, but wouldn't capitalism be the best system to foster innovation that saves the environment? Uh, let's try to keep responses to, to two minutes. Uh, I'll give one minute response even. Uh, on the one hand, you're right um, that, that it's going to be an amount of innovation that might come out of, out of companies, um, but it's the profit motive that is driving the ecological catastrophe in the first place. So, so companies, i.e. groups of people working together um, to do things, have to be incentivized in ways that aren't the profit motive because via the profit motive, the incentive is to take as much out of the planet as possible, sell it for profit and, and worry about the long-term results of that and defer that off to another generation. So, so it's, it's intrinsic to the system of capital that, that is destroying the environment um, that, that's the real issue for, well, for me anyway. Cool. Matthew? Okay. Do you know, I reckon most of the, uh, in fact, I don't even reckon. Oh, sorry, are you going to say something, Ada? No, no, no. Are you? Okay. Um, most of the biggest polluters over the past however many decades are government owned industry, government owned businesses, you know. Uh, Saudi Aramco comes to mind, which is a big, uh, well, they're contributing to pollution. But when we say there's a profit motive, right, it's because people are buying their stuff. People want to have a car. So they're, they're contributing something, right? Yes, there is an environmental impact from it, but they are contributing something because they're getting petrol into their car so they can drive places and do things, take their kids to sport or whatever else. Um, so the profit motive is encouraging them to get oil out of the ground and, use, and, and so society can use it to do things. That's good, right? There is a negative environmental outcome, and that is where government should step in, and that is where the government, I think, should levy a, a, a tax on emissions or um, a trading scheme or whatever else, rather than so many of the other taxes we got. We could, there's so many other taxes that are bad that we can abolish and replace them with a tax on, on, on emissions. So the profit motive is doing its job. Uh, you want to drive your car. Saudi Aramco is providing you the oil to do it. Um, Yep, there's room for collective action for the government to step in. Actually, there's a price on carbon. Uh, and in terms of getting us out of the out of the problem, uh, you know, I just note that. Um, no, I think I think I'll leave it there. I think I've said earlier that there's there's lots of private businesses that are being incentivized uh, to, to to do green tech to to produce green energy because increasingly consumers want it. Increasingly consumers are concerned about the environment. Consumers are becoming wealthy enough in the developed world because of capitalism. They're becoming developed wealthy enough that they can make choices and they can say, I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit in terms of my power bill in order to know that I'm having an impact on the environment. Um, I'm, I'm willing to, to pay to, to buy power from a company um, which is greener or I'm willing to go that extra mile to buy an electric car or put solar panels on my roof or whatever else. Um, and so companies uh, with the profit motive are, are responding to that. Um, and so hopefully that answers the question, but um, I'm an optimist. <laughs>